In this morning's Business Insight, earlier this week, the city's historic conservation board approved plans for a well-known developer to move forward on its first project in Over the Rhine. Town properties known for projects such as the Backstage Entertainment District, Fountain Place, and Chilatil Lofts in downtown Cincinnati, and Beacon Hill and the club at Harper's Point in the suburbs will build seven townhomes on about a half acre at the northwest corner of 15th and Elm Streets. Each townhome will be about 2,800 square feet and include three Three bedrooms, partially finished basement, two car detached garage, and a private backyard. Starting price is expected in the $650,000 range. Chad Munitz is a vice president for the development at Town Properties. Before joining Town, he was executive vice president at 3CDC and played a key role in the financing and redevelopment of many projects, including Fountain Square, Washington Park, 21C Museum Hotel, and Dunhumby Center. Chad joins Business Watch producer Kelly Leon in the studio. Chad and Kelly. Thanks, Peg. Thanks, Kelly. Chad, I'm so happy for you to be here. <laughs> Thanks. I'm finally glad that <laughs> we had a chance here. to catch up. So Chad and I work together at 3CDC, full disclosure, and um, he's so great at what he does and excited about this pro project at town. Why, why is town moving into Over the Rhine? Well, town's always had a love affair with the urban core and have been searching for a long time to find a site that we felt was suitable for kind of our sweet spot, which is building homes for people and building communities, and finally found an area where we could actually build enough to create the scale that it's, you know, creating a little community there. Cool. So it's uh, exciting. It's one of the few only big open green spaces that you could construct yeah. new homes and be able to do full homes and parking. And when, when will it start? When will construction start? Probably start in a couple months. Um, now that we've gotten our approval through the historic process, we'll submit for the building permit. And start in a couple months and then finish probably the early summer of next year. Early summer of next year. So talk a little bit about the, the historic process. Yeah, it's actually wonderful that we have such a great group here in the city of Cincinnati that cares about the fabric. It's really what makes our, not only over the Rhine, but all of our urban core areas so unique in mm. Cincinnati that there are people that care about them. So we went through quite an iterative process to come up with a design that I think fits in well but still adds enough unique features. And then one of the things that's important not only to the historic group, but very important to town is the quality of the materials that we're going to use. So I think you'll end up seeing something that fits in very well and it's going to last hopefully for another 150 years <laughs> yeah. like the other buildings in Over the Rhine. Yeah, we know how well those buildings <laughs> are, are built. Yes. Um, so while I, I'm sure it can be frustrating to go through that process, like you said, it's such an important step and, and I'm assuming worth the time that you had to put into it. It, it is very much worth the time. Yeah. Yeah. Again, getting the right fit is important. Uh, you want things that really fit into the fabric, and it's all about materials and rhythm and heights and widths and all those things that there's lots of professionals. And Over the Rhine's lucky, too, to have a great foundation, the OTR Foundation, that actually has a group of oh, people yeah. studying just infill possibilities because it can vary so much to go something more traditional to something on the very modern end. And I think, you know, what everyone's focused on is really the size and the rhythm and making sure it fits in. And then what I led with, which is the quality material, which is something that we never want to skimp on at town. Right. And who's your audience for these? Who will you be marketing these projects to? They're going to be a little more expensive. Yeah. I mean, they are large homes. They're all almost 3,000 square feet with two-car garages. So we're probably going to be at the upper end of the young professional group, mm -hmm. but probably a lot of empty nesters. I mean, it really gets them into the neighborhood, but then gives them what's called a fee simple home. So it's not part of a condominium or homeowner association. They'll actually own their own home in their garage, and they have uh, individual gardens in the middle and then little front yards too. So um, probably focusing as much on the uh, back end of the young professional group and empty nesters that are looking to move into the urban core. Okay, and well, is this the beginning for town? Do you think quickly will they do, will you all do more or? <laughs> that is our hope. I mean, okay. we're looking at sites and really what we want to focus on is the urban core. Okay. Um, we really see that's going to be our competitive advantage over the next series of years because of the quality and the amenities that we want to build and town has always been not on for sale product, but on rental long-term owners. So we yeah. want to make sure that we own things that, that last for a long time. I did want to get one other plug in. Yes. It's right on the streetcar line, which is <laughs> oh, another, thing, yes, that, yeah. another thing that was very important to us to find a site in Over the Rhine that added to that, you know, urban core and the yeah. walkability and commutability of the transportation Definitely. system. Definitely. Well, when they're ready, we want a tour. Happy to do that. We'll have you back on. Okay. If I can get on your schedule. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Chad. Thanks.